Hello everyone, so here goes a training battle, confrontation battle, uh, and the battle map will be the reverse dykes. In me is rank 9 Uncle Farah, and starting with 3 barracks as usual. Power plan and going to add 2 supply center uh, during the deployment time, and then going to scout the base for resource containers. Okay. One resource container, okay, second one. Okay, this is the third, fourth, okay, fifth and sixth containers, seven, okay, eight containers I have collected in total. And this one is unfortunately missed. I could not uh, get ahead in every direction after all. However, due to the uh, extra speed of the rifleman, I managed to collect more containers. And now going to scout the enemy base, I'm upgrading my headquarter into level 2 currently for uh, adding more supply senders for further development. Okay, and uh, going to scout the enemy base, enemy is upgrading his headquarter into level 2 and then he will be adding supply senders. Okay, so I'm skipping a few part of the battle uh, to get into the interesting part. So we're back at 7 minute and 20 second. I already got one hawk and I have headquarter level 3 and also going for more hawks and I have scattered uh, many riflemen at the middle of the map so that I can be notified if there are any air units uh, going to attack my base. But after scouting from the hawk I figured out that there are no avia so far at least. Uh, only one special vehicle factory, uh, one vehicle factory which is level 2. Okay, and he's uh, producing typhoons. So this uh, makes a sense that he might be going for vehicles since the vehicle factory is level 2 and yet there is no sign of Avia so far. Okay, and I'm going to add a few more hawks even though I do know that a large number of typhoons can surely take them down very easily. So I will be going for Albatross, that's why I'm going for Headquarter level 4 and it's already uh, going to be level 4, uh, just a few more seconds. Okay nice, Headquarter level 4, so uh, going for Avia Factory level 3, so that I can produce Albatross once again. Okay, and uh, also going to attack the enemy buildings just for scouting. Not, I'm sh pretty much sure that attack will do nothing at least. A scouting will help out. Okay, what is here? Zeus. Okay, and okay, clear scout, yes. So, uh, while I attacked it the first time, he wasn't able to... Uh, activate the irid warning boost but after my first attack he managed to uh, activate it so during the second strike from my air units uh, they got hit by the missiles but not in the first attack anyway uh, proceeding with the albatross production Okay, upgrade, also going to upgrade this Avia factory into level 3 as well. Okay, let's see. Uh, going, I'm going to use the Hawks to find out if there are any infantry scouts in the map. Okay, above the cliff there is one infantry. He's uh, spreading air defenses and typhoons. Okay, nice, killed down that assault infantry, but there are more. Okay, uh, time to refill, then I will be uh, killing down those enemy scouts. Because uh, if I don't kill them, then the enemy will be notified every time I uh, launch an attack from air units. So I need to keep uh, dominance on the map. So having a forest is really helpful. I can easily hide my units and get notified if there uh, are going to be any air attacks coming. Or even land attacks. He 
uh, he will have to use at least a cyclone to get rid of my infantries. Okay, now I got two albatross and more are in production. Adding sniper towers, but I don't think there uh, will be any successful attempt for scouting since I already have hawks and I'm controlling the map uh, currently. Okay, I'm going to put the damaged hawk into another group and just sending the hawks with full HP so that I uh, don't I do not have to face any losses of Hawks because there are bigger chances that the damaged Hawk will get killed. Okay, uh, yet he's uh, still staying at his base producing more Typhoons and since he's already producing that much Typhoons that means he's definitely going to make an, a land attack. And I hope it will be Zeus Torrent, Typhoons, and uh, some Assault Infantries. Uh, that's the kind of combination in uh, Confederation players mostly do in long maps if they're not playing air units. Okay, here you see Zeus Torrent Typhoons at a large number. So already I have seven albatross. So I'm going to bomb at the location where the most of the vehicles are staying right now uh, to get the best result in my first strike since he's still unable to know about my albatross. So I managed to take down uh, those torrents but not Zeus and he already has vertex. And it's a bit of pains since I do not have any anti-air. I wasn't prepared that he was going to play Vertex. And Hawks are having a hard time chasing down those since Vertex are much faster. So it will be a big pain to lose this uh, costly Albatross. Okay, so I'm going to attack the airfield next. To get rid of the vertex, those are being very annoying. Air raid warning boost uh, to reduce the damage that I will take from those uh, vertex and from those missiles, from typhoons and air defenses. So uh, I know that uh, albatross uh, do have less attack power compared to Thor's, but yeah, they are actually destroying the buildings. That's uh, not bad I see but I'm also losing a lot of albatross there's those are also big resource loss and especially uh, when this battle map is long the vertex do have a long pathway to chase down my albatross and uh, kill them off so I'm recovering from the dead losses of my albatross Okay, I'm going to attack once again and gathering a larger number of albatross before attacking so that I can prevent much losses. Okay, Typhoons, Torrents, Zeus. An attack is going to occur right now. Okay. Let's see. One bombing. Managed to kill down one Typhoon and badly damaged one uh, Zeus and Torrent as well and uh, I have managed to kill down the Typhoons the little number of Typhoons he had and now the Hawks will be able to take care of the rest of the units without any problem and also at the same time I'm going to bomb the enemy base so he's targeting my Avia factory Okay, I'm trying to defend my base, holding my base with uh, Rifleman and Cody's. 
Okay, nice. One power plant and one EV factory level to destroy it. But I hope uh, there won't be much albatross coming back safe. Okay, as expected. Things are not being good. So I managed to uh, defend, hold out my base and did provide a damage and he could not destroy my avia factory since it's level 3 and maxed upgraded so it's really difficult to destroy it even for some Zeus. So uh, if I had lost this could have been uh, very difficult for me because this could have slowed down my albatross production and I'm moving with some porcupines at the middle okay let's see uh, airfield okay managed to des destroy the airfield and returning into base towards my base with the albatross and placing some porcupines at the middle and maneuvering the hawks to kill down those vertex to avoid losses of albatross and as well as uh, for killing down those vertex of course and also adding more porcupines and sending them at the middle okay the enemy is uh, putting scout at different locations but I do have the advantage in terms of hiding in the forest I can definitely hide and avoid from being uh, attacked by those vertex while my hawks can easily uh, kill down his scouts that's a bit advantageous Okay, now supply, uh, supply boost. And what was the building uh, that got destroyed? I'm not sure. What was that? And why did he destroy? Okay, what is this power plant? So it's lagging electricity. That's the reason he destroyed one of his buildings uh, to get space for power plant. And I'm a bit surprised at this that a uh, five porcupines one hit could not kill one vertex because vertex are a lot weaker in low rank. Okay, tried to uh, enter inside the base but did not work out. His base is quite well defended. Okay, at least managed to uh, scout the Avia factory once again. Okay, he tried to uh, have a scout probably since there was only one vertex. Tried to have a scout with uh, one vertex but got killed by my porcupines which are staying at the middle of the map. So here you can see that uh, when I uh, go for albatross, all his uh, land vehicles almost becomes useless. He can't do anything with the land vehicles. He have to, he have no choice without switching into aviation. Okay, continuous albatross and porcupines in production. Come on production to speed up the process. Headquarter level 3. I do have four uh, level 4 headquarter and to Avia factory. Okay, I need to keep up the pressure continuously. And uh, this time I'm going to attack the supply centers, uh, the administrative buildings, instead of attacking the airfield and Avia factory, as I always do, because Uh, if I attack the buildings that are situated close to the enemy base, they will at least, uh, they can at least return to the base much faster. Okay, nice. I hope that uh, Vertex got killed already. And unfortunately, porcupines are 
moving towards the enemy base I need to retreat I don't want my porcupines to get destroyed unnecessarily and also uh, I need to make sure that I should have a few hawks with albatross while well, using albatross because the land units of the enemy might uh, be marching anytime if I go full albatross and then it will be very difficult for me if uh, he keeps on moving his vehicles so having a few hawks is uh, very much useful at denying the scout as well as destroying the enemy base okay warning boost uh, okay this time he, uh, he retreated with vertex before even uh, getting close to my porcupines and unfortunately uh, my airfields were airfields were at the corner of the map and were pretty much exposed anyway managed to take down both of the vertex oh, and unfortunately all my porcupines that I uh, used in patrol mode at the middle um, mistakenly went inside the enemy base and got destroyed so that's a very pretty bad thing I wasn't able to uh, call them back because I was busy here controlling the hawks to kill down those uh, vertex however I will keep up the punishment uh, keep up giving him punishments okay let's take down a bit more administrative buildings so that his total supply department could be destroyed okay one typhoon uh, went inside the fire got badly damaged and I killed it with one hawk and he's marching uh, toward my base once again so I have no choice uh, going to add a few more sniper towers and also riflemen and coyotes to deny those units and a reconstruction since reconstruction boost can be used only once if I keep on destroying the administrative buildings it will definitely uh, give him a proper loss okay nice not uh, it wasn't a solid hit but yeah was quite useful okay uh, let's try destroying the typhoons okay nice both typhoons are destroyed so hawks are free once again to do whatever they like to do with this land units and this time I have since I've switched my airfield uh, he can't go inside my base and destroy the airfields okay uh, common defense boost and since it's a long battle it's very hard to reinforce units as you can see he's reinforcing hammer and assaults and I think he should have stopped the attack already there is no point of doing that right now because the battle map is pretty much long I can even defend now without using Hawks he's continuously reinforcing that's a bit of surprise because uh, a charge like that won't do anything in a long map like this especially when he do not have a lot of typhoons and and since I have a uh, bombers so I can also bomb on the typhoons that will be a pretty much uh, advantageous so that's the advantage of having faster development since resistance can collect a lot more resources okay so he did quit the battle but before finishing the fight I would like to see uh, what is at, at his base uh, okay so he did not have much supply centers so he just went for a reckless attack okay so this will be the end